drink your water, stay hydrated. I'm back on a YouTube video, sit down video in beautiful, beautiful nature. Now, today I want to talk about something that happens to any person of God who walks a path of God and the divine and the most high. So there comes a point in your life, maybe later, maybe earlier in your life, you was like, um, damn, that's ugly or unattractive to people. Uh, maybe you were attractive, but people just called you unattractive or ugly because they were jealous of you or just because of their own reasons or insecurities that they had about themselves and try to project it on you because you're such a ball of light. So what happens is um, later in life, you have a glow up, right? Um, like me. So y'all, I used to be um, a little bit overweight, you know, chubby. I used to be... Now to me, I was not... If you were to ask me back then, and I, as I look back now, I was not ugly. But if you ask 15 year old me, 14 year old me, I would have said um, I was ugly because that's what, that's what I was being told, you know, around that time. And you know, dark skinned boys and girls have a hard time growing up, especially when you're dark skinned. Um, you just, you just dim that's ugly, you know? So growing up, I had to like um, fix my confidence, my self esteem. I had to actually work on it. like. This, this is not a facade. I had to build myself up. I had to look in the mirror, say my affirmations. I had to actually go out and take action on, on, on what I, I want to do to actually build my confidence. So the confidence I have now, is has, it has been built. It has not been... I, not, I was not born with this confidence. Well, I'm lying because as a child, I was always confident. But, you know, people around me, as in like family and friends or whatever, they shut down my light, which made me even more or less confident. So... In a way, I was never, I was never not confident. I was always confident, but the people around me tried to dim my confidence, and for a little while, it did work. It did, for a little while, it did work. For a little, a little while. Um, not right now, because I'm, I'm confident as fuck. I believe in myself, I trust myself, I trust my intuition, and I love myself. So, as you walk in this path of God, you're gonna have a glow up. And this video about is basically about um, pretty privilege. When you glow up, you're gonna start noticing people are treating you different. People are gonna be nicer. People are gonna be um, talk to you a little bit better. They're gonna look at you and smile um, compared to when you're like deemed as unattractive. Um, they just look at you and act like you never exist. Now hold on, don't get it twisted. Pretty, pretty privilege comes with problems too because people think that you're so stuck up and that they think that you are ignored at all. They think because you, you're too good because you look you look good when really. You in your head like, oh my god, I don't want to be here. I might have so much anxiety. I know that's the case for me. Sometimes I'd be like, ugh, I don't want to be here. People think I'm like stuck up, even though I know I'm not stuck up. But people have these projections or perceptions of me because of how I look on the outside. Okay, I hope you're following along with me. But when you're when you're pretty, when you're pretty, you have pretty privilege. It's a, it's cons and then it's it's pros. So when you when you glow up, you're gonna have people like treat you different. And I noticed this, y'all. People smile at me more. People compliment me more. People compliment my clothes more. Y'all, my style has never changed. I promise you, my style has never changed. But the way I dressed when I was bigger versus now, people compliment me way more on my clothes and my style. Even even before I was dressing the same way when I was I had a little bit more weight. But since I'm like more skinnier and more fit, you know, I, I've been in a gym. 
Um, I love going to the gym actually, but people compliment me more. And um, I noticed that about people around. When you go up, people you're gonna, you're gonna have way more people compliment you, talk about, talk cynically about you. And you know, the cons of it all is people having these perceptions of you that you're a hoe, or you're like sleeping with every, sleeping around with everybody, or like you just stuck up or mean. When in the case, in some cases, that is not true. It's not. It's really not. Y'all, the sun went away. Finally, I was out here sweating. I don't know if y'all can see, but I was sweating so bad. <sighs> Let me get some water. Make sure y'all drinking our water. Ugh, I love being in nature. It's just so, after working, after working three days straight, you just want to come out here and just <sighs> touch some grass, you know? But yes, y'all, pretty privilege is definitely real. I experienced it firsthand. Like, I'm like, oh my God. And sometimes people will ignore you because of your looks, because you're pretty. Y'all, so I work at this job. And um, I work there. And people, um, my customers, some customers, some white people, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm just saying. And you know, it's other people too. But they just won't look at you. They won't stare at you. They won't look at you. They won't, con they won't even look at you or say hi because of how you look and your energy. Like, Y'all, I'm telling you, people are just be so miserable on the inside that they don't know how to deal with you. And it's, it's not because of you. It's because you're too pretty, you're too big, you're too beautiful for them to comprehend. That kind of rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> but yes, y'all, like, they just, I don't know. Some people will treat you nice depending on the person. But pretty privilege is real. And some stuff that I, so look, some stuff that I experience is people hold doors for me. People will let me go first in line. People will like pick while, while I drop it on the floor. People will bend down and pick stuff off of me. Yeah, I, I, I never actually people to do anything for me. They just do it because they want to. I never, I, I never ask nobody. I never expect nobody to hold the door for me. Yeah, I was walking in a restaurant one day and this dude was in front of me, but he was going in first. I was right behind him, and he looked. He, he turned back around. And he was like, "Oh," and he held the door for me. Like he just hold it open for me. I did not say anything, y'all. He looked back. And he was like, oh, "Okay." He, he let me go first. He, he, he held the door open for me and he let me go first. Like, I did not say anything. I did not do anything. He just looked at me and he simply let me go first. It's simple things like that. Some people may pay for your groceries. Some, some, some people may look at you and be like, okay, let me get this for you. I had that happen before. And yeah, it's just like, I don't ask, I don't ask of these things. But when you got child and you have a favor of your life, people just want to do for you. People want, people want going to want to provide for you. So, I mean, you can't help it, you know? You can't help it. But, yes, pretty privilege is definitely something that's real, and I am experiencing it for the first time ever in my life. Can you believe that? <sighs> like, I am beautiful inside and out. It's not just about your looks on the outside. It's your energy and the inside, your attitude, your intentions. If you, if you don't have pure intentions about anything, you're not gonna get any of that energy return to you because everything you do is not pure if, if it's if it's not pure you won't reap the benefits from it you know what i mean like yeah i'm all over the place i have adhd so please bear with me you know my mind has a lot of things going on but my heart knows what to say but it's like you know a constant constant battle between the two <laughs> um yeah so this is me like i'm just like y'all know like pretty privilege is real and you're definitely gonna go through some changes as like a god as a um, child of God. And like, you're gonna go through so many changes in your life. In each stage, you're gonna like, find out like something new about yourself. You're never gonna stay the same. You're always gonna try new things and like new things and, and, and find out different parts of yourself. You're never gonna stick to one thing. You're always changing constantly. So yes, y'all, that's all I gotta say about this little, today's video. I just wanna come over here and say that, that um, you're God's child and your life is changing. I'm going to see y'all in the next YouTube sit-down video in nature.